You can actually, okay, write this down. You can actually supplement this, the pepitas, the pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. You can su supplement them with sunflower seeds. Which is really good because sunflower seeds are, are cheaper. And it doesn't taste as good, so. As the pumpkin seeds, you say? That's pumpkin seeds. So just so you have options, so you can play around, so you can see how how you can be creative, just by switching something out, you know. Can you get sunflower seeds that haven't been gassed yeah. 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 That haven't been whole? Yeah. I mean, I've I've been getting raw, truly raw pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, yes, but sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, yeah. 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 They they sprout and they haven't been they're fine. Oh, even though they've been gassed. I mean, I have not heard of the ones that I get being gassed. Wow. Well, they they use gas to do their shelves. Huh. I don't know about that. I, mean, I want to know more about this. I, 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 I've been in this for 13 years and I've never heard of this. What about, really? I know, I agree with you, but I never know. See, she's like never heard it either. Like, I don't know about that. Do you about the almonds? Like, no, sunflower seeds, are there that all raw sunflower seeds have been gassed? Yeah. No, I, you know what I think you're thinking of? Yeah. Cash out. Because, yeah, because, because all of them. I've never heard them so yeah. Uh, as a process. Really? Awesome. But some people are okay for that. They don't like that. Okay, well, I mean, I don't, I'm going to have to do more research on that one because I, Gabriel's never told me that. I've never heard that before. Huh. Wow. It's possible that I don't know something, that's for sure. <laughs> So if you're worried about that, don't supplement. <laughs> you can it's gonna, you, I, I mean, I use mock meat with walnuts, yeah. then with pecans, yeah. then with almonds. Yeah. Um, now, when it comes down to this recipe, I wouldn't do it like unless you know what you're doing flavor-wise, because it won't get the flavor that I'm the created for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're, if you're gonna do it with almonds, with walnuts, you're gonna want to add um, a different amount of salt different amount of cumin, different amount of chipotle, you know what I mean? Like, oh, and if you have any issues with chipotle, um, if you have issues with chipotle, then uh, this is for baby. This is my baby anyway. The students who've been with me for the last couple weeks have been watching me struggle with it, and that's why I'm laughing, because you guys are probably laughing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing But you can supplement the chipotles. With, ha with habanero, which I like. I have a habanero free. I like eat habaneros. You know, like, like juice habaneros, like almost every day. Um, you know, like jalapenos, serranos, cayenne. You can supplement those all with this. Just be careful if you're not, you know, using the spices. Because habaneros, very good. Which one's the most mild? The most mild? Um, I would say serrano. Yeah. I would say serrano. I mean, I mean I've, I, although I've had some serranos be really hot, but I think I have serranos, um, jalapenos, um, and all the yeah, habaneros, obviously. Cayenne, I think the, the serranos are the mildest. But if you just add just a little bit of the others, except for habanero, a really little bit with habanero, you'll get the spice without it being too spicy. And you can even do it with habanero. Just, just, if you're going to do it with habanero and you want mild, use a very little bit. That's right here. Sorry. Is this all cheese for the taco? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the sour cream is yes. you get the sour cream. Is that that sour cream? Sour cream here. Is that also a sour cream? Yeah, but it's not a full shot. Okay. That's that's yeah. still that that'll be it'll be enough. Just just a little bit full of that and on this for extra product. Okay. So now I'm gonna put I'm going to put the sunflower seeds and the pepitas. Ah. <laughs> I should not even say anything about sunflower seeds. I'm so glad I did because I want to check into it. Thank you. Are you coming and ruining my class and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and do how much are gonna be to be how much are they gonna be to make like do we have that for all of them? Yeah? Okay. Well then maybe I'm not gonna make as much as I just thought. Although I'll eat it for the next three years. Okay. So 
so I'm the date. <laughs> you didn't see that, right? These are freshmen who put jewels. You can use any, basically, bar you can use. It'll still work. I'm going to do some sun-dried tomatoes. Now these have been soaked. I, I always use my, my, I always soak. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Now I always soak my sun-dried my tomatoes, dry the sun-dried tomatoes, rehydrate them. Usually, with most sun-dried tomatoes, you just have to um, do it for about 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Some of them are more dry than others. Although I prefer to get ones that are pretty soft, so I know that they've, you know, they're not too dry, and they're, they'll just rehydrate really quick, and I know that there are more, more chances that they haven't been dehydrated above 118 degrees. So now I'm going to put some cumin in. Now, if you know where to get some cumin that's been that's been like, you know, dehydrated at 100, 118 degrees, huh. let me know, please. And then I'm gonna do some chipotle. Put some cilantro. Cilantro, and, cilantro and cumin are like essential in a lot of the Mexican food. I'm gonna put some fresh tomatoes. I'll leave the rest of this for the assimilation, the assembly. Here's some more on tomatoes. Thank you. Okay. A little salt. Remember, salt is what it brings out flavors. It brings out the herb flavors and herbs, and it brings out the flavors and vegetables and fruits. And it's, it's an enhancer. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to definitely have enough to bring out the flavor. And when I say that, this, I mean really specifically when, when you're turning other people on who've never had it or who have not experienced I've run into a lot of people, two celebrities that I, that I worked with. Like they wouldn't, Keenan Ivory Wayans, I'll say their name. Here we go, there's a name. Keenan Ivory Wayans, Jeremy Piven. They didn't even want to eat my food because they'd eaten had, and had, had had a bad, bad experience with raw food. So when my friend, a mutual friend, had told them, hey, can you try to check the last food? Raw food. Mm -hmm. like, no, no, no. No, both of them. One of them was a, 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 his girlfriend's a friend of mine. One of them's girlfriend's a friend of mine. And he said it's the same thing. And she's like, no, no, you gotta try this. And then I took something for them. They tried it and they're like, whoa. So that made me realize that there's a lot of people out there that have had bad experiences with raw food. And so that's why I really focus on making it taste really good so that people can have that experience. Because once we've been once we've been turned on to it, once the seeds have been planted, and once we've like awakened to this awareness, to this knowledge, then we can read a bunch of books, then we can test out and experiment all over the map, and we can find what works for us. Because we're all going to find that it's varying a little bit. Like none of it's, none, none of it's going to work exactly the same for each individual <laughs> one of us. So it opens up that doorway down that intuitive highway for every individual person through the taste buds. And now that it's becoming more popular, and now that it's, um, it's, it's really is being taken to the mass more and more, that's where it's going to be more important that it tastes good, especially with the standard American diet. Quote, well, unquote, sad, you know what I mean? It's, it's people like, I know, I know that for me, it was, a, it was big for me because my, kid, my children's mother is who turned me on to raw foods. The, the concept of raw food and the food and the actual eating raw food cuisine. Giuliano had opened his restaurant about, I don't know, 14, 15 years ago, over in Santa Monica, I mean, over in uh, San Francisco. And we drove by there a bunch of times, and she had turned up, she had read books by Anne Wigmore and Victoria Skolinskis in the 80s, and so she was telling me about it, and I'm just like, why would I want to go to a restaurant that has that serves oranges and apples? <laughs> you know, and, and finally she dragged me in there, and I ate a meal, and I'm like, wow, oh my god. And then I met this lady who had healed herself from cancer. And my mom passed away from cancer when I was 18. And I was just like, well, that really hit me hard. This is all within this first meal, raw food meal that I ever had. And, and so I was, at that moment, I was like, OK, I was convinced. And, and for two years of my life, I was hardcore, 100%, or as much as we knew 100% mm -hmm. was back then, um, like raw. And I, was, I never got sick. And then the rest of the story from after that until seven years ago, there was, there was a lot of 
I went back and started experimenting with cooked foods, and, and, it, and it went even deeper than that. And you can find my story out by like checking me out on YouTube. I'm not going to go all into it right now, but but I've 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 been experiencing. I've been experimenting. I've really I was raised vegetarian. I you know rebelled to meat. Went to went to vegetarian to vegan to raw to back to meat to like and then it found out that what works best for me is a plant-based raw diet. And that's why at this point in my life, I'm like happy that I eat like 98%. And when I say 98%, I don't, I'm not the not one to really like to put percentages on the whole raw food thing, but just to, to throw a percentage out there, it, I would say 98% because I do eat a little nutritional yeast, a little agave, and I do eat a little bit of uh, maple syrup and, and products that aren't 100% raw in my raw foods. But one thing that I truly, really pray for and want to give to you is that don't torture yourself. Like, do it at your own pace. Like, eat 5% raw. Eat an apple more each day. Eat a salad more each day. Seriously, yeah. like, don't, like, we toxify our minds, which is worse than what we put in our bodies sometimes. So if we, like, if we take on this and we, and we really, like, torture ourselves, <coughs> then we're not really going to get the full benefits of what we have in front of us and what these what the gifts that we've been given. So um, so I please I plead with you like don't just because I'm like 98% or this person's 100% or this person's 95% don't feel bad like you're behind because everyone is in a different place and we're all evolving at our own pace and every single get, lesson and challenge in our life is a gift. It's a gift. Like I like yeah. A gift. I've had such intense things happen in my life, like things that like I don't even believe I'm here, like time after time, and everything, every time, every single one of the times, whether I can like, whether I knew it or not, at this point in my life, when bad things happen to me, I know that there's something good coming from it, and I just take it on, and I'm so thankful for it, and I take it on as this gift and a challenge that's going to make me grow and become a better person, so I can truly give my gifts and share with the world in a profound and powerful way. Like that's that's what it's about. Like just know that like all these hardships that we're going through, there's some light in the tunnel, and it's gonna be like, and it's for a reason. Um, blah blah blah. Da, da, da. I don't want to preach, and like that's just something that I've gathered along my, my 40 years of life, and and it's been pretty, it's rang pretty true, like well, like time and time again. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with like coming from that mindset either. I mean, because when you're coming from the mindset of like just being grateful. For everything that's happened, and that everything is a gift and a chat, and every challenge is something to work through. You're gonna, you're gonna always come out with something better. You know? I mean, I, I can tell that most of you in this room, if not all of you, from what I'm feeling, are definitely what my mentor, the Corona, calls calls heaves. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little German Jew, but I don't mean Hebrew. I mean highly evolved being. You know, we're all on the path. We've all came to this place, to this gathering. For a reason, we've all connected here. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of power in this energy of us communing, of us gathering here, and it's for a reason, because we have taken on this path together, and so we're here to support each other. <laughs> I love life. I'm so grateful. Like, I, I swear, like if you've known, if you've known what I went through last week, most people would just like. Trip, and I'm like still like loving life and smiling, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna go into all that. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going there. But, but yeah, so I just and it's from my heart, like for activating from a heart chakra, from a, from a love, God, whatever you want to call it, divine, mm -hmm. universal field of just like, just like love. Then we're gonna be like, there's nothing. There's we're gonna be bright beings. That every person that we come in contact with is gonna be so glad they they connected with us. Whether they be a homeless person, whether they be someone that's like like just going through the work, like they're just gonna be so grateful, whether they know it or not, consciously or subconsciously. You know, it's gonna be like this gift for them. You're gonna be a gift for them. Your smile, your love is gonna be a gift for them. I can answer questions. Now. I can stop talking. I can go on and on and on. I can go on. Believe me. <laughs>